Uh, I am, I don't know what's going on for the first 15 minutes. All I know is that I'm supposed to throw it over to Matt. So, Matt, you got the first 15 minutes. Go ahead. All right, so for those of you who do not know, today, um, this morning, Scott Scherzer uh, gave Scott, uh, uh, he, sorry, he wrote a proclamation up for Scott. Mayor Scott. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah, pick that up. There, there you go. All right, can you Now we can hear All you. All right, so for those of you who do not know, or, yeah, for those of you who did not know, to, uh, this morning when Scott Scherzer came on uh, the radio with us, he... At the end of the show, he uh, read the, read a pro proclamation that he had written for Scott, and I will read it for you guys now. Uh, it is one of the responsibilities as mayor for the city of Marion to honor individuals in our community, and in that manner, it is a pleasure to recognize Scott Spears for his contributions to our community. I commend you for your dedication and passion as a radio talk show host in your hometown of Marion. Through your dedication and passion, you were able to moderate several League of Women Voter debates and also won an Associated Press Award for your interview with Helen Thomas in 2011. During your time on air, you have had the opportunity to interview a host of individuals from politicians to numerous legends that include actors, comedians, and talk show hosts. Through your talk shows, you have maintained a commitment to covering a, the local scene in Marion on a daily basis. I extend my best wishes to you in the coming years. That's very nice. Very nice. It's very, very nice. Yes. And then there's a second proclamation that uh, I will read to you now. Uh, whereas Scott Spears has been a well-recognized radio personality and talk show host in Marion, Ohio since beginning his broadcasting career at WMRN, WDCM, and WWGH Radio, and whereas he has also won an Associated Press Award in 2011 for getting the first interview with Dean of the White House Press Corps, and whereas he has also made national headlines for his interviews with Bill Cosby, Comedian Gallagher, Golden Voice Ted Williams, and Phil Donahue, while interviewing legends such as Phyllis Diller, Ed Asner, Larry King, Betty White, and Tony Curtis. Whereas, Scott has moderated several League of Women Voters debates and as interviewing, oh sorry, as well as interviewing five Ohio governors. Now, therefore, I, Scott Scherzer, mayor of the city of Marion, of, oh, sorry, mayor of the city of Marion, Ohio, do hereby proclaim Tuesday, December 19th, 2023, as Scott Spears Day in the city of Marion, and urge the residents of our community to extend best wishes and congratulate Scott on this honor. I guess I can reach this, right? That's right. All right. So, many of you know Scott Spears, and maybe many of you have heard of my name, Linda Sims, now Linda Sims Pickett. I have been with Scott since 2014 out at the Southland Mall. Now, Scott knew me before I knew him. My spiritual mother and mentor, Erling Baskin Hatch, knew Scott very, very well. And we all were on WDCM. That's right. 7.5 FM radio with Ray, I forget his last name, but anyway, um, a storm came, remember, and blew, blew down that tower, and they didn't have the money to put it back up. And so we were kind of silent for a while. At least a voice of a people wasn't running anymore. And then um, one bright day in 2014, my spiritual mother and mentor contacts me and says, well, they want our show to go on. She said, but I can't be there. I want you to do it. So I'm thinking, well, I guess I can do it. I was doing it anyway. And I contacted um, Scott and... He interviewed me and it's been, let's go from there on, right? Not only that, I have experienced so many wonderful things along with Scott Spears. We've been in the Popcorn Festival Parade. I have met a lot of people that I probably would not have met. There's never a dull moment A W W G H 107. One FM radio, right? That's right. Even last um, Christmas, my husband and I rise out to his house in this bitter storm. If everyone can remember that, right? We get stuck. But 
who was even out that night? We, we shouldn't even been out, but because Scott asked us, invited us, we were out there in that blizzard going to his house and got stuck. John pushed us out there all by himself. But I just want to say thank you, Scott. Well, thank you, Linda. For giving me an opportunity for my voice to be heard. And not only that, many people in our community have crossed over, even on my show, a voice of a people. And because of you and your dedication and your tenacity uh, and not giving up, no matter what, and I'm still hanging with you to the end. <laughs> thank thank you, you. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. That was very, very nice. I appreciate that. I'll tell the story I told Carrington, Carrington the other night. <laughs> I can see you stuck with her. Yes. Yeah, 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 you did. Yeah. And um, when Scott was little, he had a little table, a little kid's table, had chairs, and he was the only child at that time. So he would sit, he had a video camera, and he used to watch wrestling all the time. And he would tape the wrestling on VHS tapes probably a lot of people don't even know what that is and um, and then he would play it back and he would dub with where the announcing should be himself he, yeah is that right yeah I used to do that yeah I, th I thought I could do it better than make it so I thought well why not get in there yeah but he hogged the, the, the TV that is true. that's the only thing yeah um, but Scott Scott's a busy guy you know, um, very proud of you. Um, I love you. And uh, the world's a better place because of you. Well, thank you. So, I, I like being your mom most of the time. Well, thank you. Thank, I know <laughs> All right. it, it can be rough some days. Thank you. <laughs> yep. thank, thank you. you. All right. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I know. You know, if people could only see what was going on in this <laughs> office, the entrance and exit here are something else. It, it, it's it's really a trip. Okay. All right, Matt. All right. So uh, next, I will be giving my speech. <laughs> so the other day, I asked Scott how he would feel if he got a day named after him, and he said they don't give a day to just anyone, but not just anyone becomes as decorated in their field as Scott has in broadcasting. Not only has he had many interviews with such recognizable figures, including Bill Cosby, Barbara Walters, Helen Thomas, Gallagher, and many other household names, he was winner of the Associated Press Award. Scott is a respected and well-known interviewer and journalist, not only in the city of Marion, but all across the United States as well. I am honored to have such an esteemed mentor and colleague. Scott, congratulations. Thank you. That's very, very nice. Very Thank good. you, Matt. Thank you. All right. So, <laughs> next up, we have Carrington Nelson giving her speech. All right. I'm glad you remembered her name. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I, uh... All right. I was like, well, I thought me and your mom bonded the other night at the Toss. So She's like that. That's She's okay. Like that. I'll forgive her. I'll let All it slide. Right. Well, um, first off, I just want to say congratulations. You've had a long career, obviously, and I have just gotten to be a part of it in the last five months or so, which I am eternally grateful for this experience, and I'm so happy that I get to be here. Um, and honestly, I know everyone says this in speeches about somebody whenever they have a day named after them or some sort of award, but you've really changed my life in more ways than you would know. I had never considered broadcasting before I ran into you at the fair that day. I, um, I've gone through a lot in the last five months with you know graduating recently and lots of other life events, and I think that things would be a lot different right now if I hadn't gotten to meet you. So. I think about all the people that you get to talk to whenever you're hosting your morning show and people that get to you know wake up and listen to you every day and it's kind of like a comforting source and they you know see you and they feel like your friend and that you get to impact their lives and you've impacted mine so I just know that a lot of us are grateful to get to know you and get to feel like we're friends with you so congratulations and thank you for everything well thank you Karen that's very 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 nice very nice thank you thank you and next up, last but certainly not least, 
Mary Ellen Withrow. Oh, Paul Mary Ellen. Hey, yes. Well, so good to have Mary Ellen here tonight. Well, it's good to be here, oh, my Scott. My goodness. Well, Scott Spears is a remarkable man. I've said that for a long time. He's interviewed me many times, and I said, I think he's the best in the business. Hmm. And he's been so kind to me and taken me to so many interesting places. We've seen so many fun things. And I think the fact that you've hired these two young people is a real mark in your progress and wanting to know, you know, what the young people of the world think. I think that's great. But your, your ability to get those top people like Betty White and all those that they've mentioned here that you've interviewed is, is another very remarkable thing. But I've enjoyed so much uh, being a part of your organization, whatever it is. Thank you, Mary Ellen.